So what we're looking at is the Smith & Jones 3 horsepower compressor motor from Harbor Freight. We've got it installed on a compressor that will differ depending on what kind of compressor you're installing it in. But the wiring is the part that's going to matter and uh, be universal. So, so we have to decide if we want counterclockwise or if we want clockwise. My motor needs to turn counterclockwise in order for these blades to push air toward the compressor head. So my wiring setup needs to be counterclockwise. That means if we look at this, we need to wire T1 to T8 and T4 to T5. That will get us counterclockwise. And if you look at these wires, they all have this shrink wrap labeling on them. You've got P1 here, T1, T8 here. So all of the wires are labeled. We've got T5 wired to T4 here. So the way it's set up now, I have T8 wired to T1, and I have T4 wired to T5. This is how it came out of the box. I haven't done anything here. And looking at that, that is set up for counterclockwise. So it's already set for counterclockwise motion. So on T1, T8, which is here, I just need to secure those together. So we are just going to quickly permanently secure those two together. And then from here, we will need to attach our other wiring. All right, so with 240 volt, there's going to be three wires we've got to hook up to this thing. I'm just going to do this outside the box right here just for quick testing purposes. Normally you'd want to go obviously through the hole. So one of the wires we need to connect to the wire labeled P1, one of the power lines. Green is going to be your ground strap. So you'll have two others. It doesn't matter which one you connect where, but one of them goes to P1. And the other will connect T4 and T5. Again, that's for wiring this counterclockwise, which is the direction I need. If you need it to go clockwise, then the other power wire will connect to T4 and T8 instead of T4 and T5. But I'm connecting T4 and T5 to my other power wire. And then we're going to jam all of this in here. To connect our ground. All right, we've got ground hooked up. T4, T5 to power, P1 to power. We've got T8 and T1 hooked together. That should give us what we need to power this thing up. So now I just have to wire it back to the wiring here and we will give it a test. So we've got everything hooked up. That means we are ready to test. Power's plugged back in. Throw the on switch, see if it's running. <laughs> 
Looks like that is working fantastically. One last quick note when wiring this thing up. You may notice that this box is now actually facing with the wiring hole straight toward me where previously that was clocked over to this side. The bolt pattern that holds this on is square. And it's just a rubber grommet underneath that actually holds the shape. So you can undo the four bolts inside this and clock it whichever direction is most useful for your setup and bolt it back in. It does not matter where that ground bolt ends up. You can still just use that ground bolt with the ground marking marked in the case and use that with your wiring. Doesn't change anything. Anyway, everyone, I hope that was helpful for hooking up one of these Smith & Jones Harbor Freight motors. Catch you on the next one.